Hi, and thanks for joining me on Ask Paul. Let's see what we have today. David in Cape Coral, Florida. That sounds kind of exotic. I love all these locations that p people from all over the world are sending us great questions. Thank you. Do you agree with matching equipment and cables to certain brands or types of speakers? Aha. Well, that is a really good question. And by that, I think David is referring to the tendency of some manufacturers to want to have certain kinds of cables connected to their equipment because it sounds best. Good example, Spectral. Spectral Electronics, they almost always recommend MIT cables. It's what they use, I assume, in their designs. And so if you duplicate those, then you're going to get closer to what they had designed. I think Wilson Audio, I think they like Karen and Jack's transparent audio cables, and they recommend those. I, in particular, really like the MG Audio cables that are made here in Colorado. Uh, they are, oh, here, I did this once before, and I'll do it again. <laughs> I got them sitting right here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yeah, these are, these are MG Audio ribbon cables that you can see. And they're big. They're not cheap. They're very difficult to make. These are all made by hand. And they're, they're sheets of copper, two sheets of copper that are put down between um, Teflon and held in there. Really, really hard to make. I've watched Lee do it, and it's... It is something else. But in any case, so we all have our favorites that we have set our systems up around. And I would have to say that, yeah, it might be a good starting point, but I wouldn't pay a whole lot of attention to that. So these cables that work for me may not work for you. Why is that? Well, very simply, cables and equipment and rooms form a type of synergy, okay? And unless you have an identical room, identical speakers, electronics, cables, and personal listening tastes, then following some dictum that this is the way to go, I think is a mistake. And the only exceptions I can see to that are is if, if you're buying a pre-assembled system. Let, let's imagine that a dealer, perhaps a manufacturer, assembles a system and he voices it or she voices it, puts it together and said, in an average room, this system will sound wonderful because of these pieces that I have assembled. Cables, electronics, if there's vibration devices, even to the point of, of room tuning devices. If you do all of that, yeah, that, that's pretty good. But I don't think people do that anymore. It's something I, I would love our company to do, to someday put together complete systems where somebody could say, hey, for 10,000 bucks, here's everything you need. Bingo. Put it up. Here's how you set it up. Here's how you do it. And I guarantee this thing is going to sound excellent in this room. Short of that, I, I think you need to either take the advice of somebody that really knows what they're talking about, or the best thing is to use your ears. And most companies today are more than willing to let you take stuff home and try it and play with it. So I guess my answer is, under certain conditions, yes. But in general, no. In general, you need to match cables to enhance the synergy of the pieces of equipment within your system. And unless you're duplicating something, which few of us do, then you need to be open about your choices and be open to trying different things to tune them up. We're here for advice if you want. Certainly call us. We'll give you any advice we can and are happy to do that. Uh, take stuff home and try it by all means. Hope that gives you a little bit of guidance. <laughs> Thanks. And a good question. Appreciate you asking. Bye-bye. <music>